sit on on your yoga mat and take maybe block the seat on maybe take folded blanket or a couple of cushions and sit make yourself very comfortable just take flesh of the buttocks a little wider to the sides ground your sitting bones and then lengthen from the base of the spine upwards also from the hips to your armpits inhale lift your arms a bit more length take your shoulders back relax your shoulder blades flat on your upper back hands on your thighs thumb and finger connected chin level back of the head moving slightly back to elongate your neck and then softly close your eyes notice your whole body how you feel today in the morning how's the whole body and every part of the body and just mentally scan your whole body. Notice your feelings and emotions. Let's take a few deep breaths. Inhaling deep into the abdomen, middle chest, upper chest. And as you exhale, exaggerate. Draw your tummy muscles in. Exhale fully. And again, inhale, breathing deep, big expansive inhalation and controlled exhalation, draw your tummy muscles in and so on. Deep, comfortable breath. Keep your breath deep and flowing. Remind yourself about your intention. We all have intentions. Your intention can be very small or very big. Your intention can be just for this yoga class or for a day, for a few days ahead. And if you are in doubt, ask yourself, how are you committed to yourself? How are you committed to your health? and find the inspiration in your answer. And keep your breath deep, flowing through the rest of the practice. On your next inhale, open your eyes, relax your arms and your legs, and come on your own force. We do cut and the cow stretch. Walk the block to the side or in blanket. Okay, and come on your fours. We have hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, toes under. As you inhale, lengthen. Arms moving forward, hips moving back. And then soften, melt between your shoulder blades. Inhale, look up. And as you exhale next, chin to your chest and round. On your next inhale, up and down. Lift your heart, lift your tailbone, look up. And again, exhale and round. Engage your core muscles. Inhale, soften your tummy, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. And take another three rounds like so. Nice and gentle movements. And I want you to focus on that big wave you created through the spine. Again, observing how you feel. How's your back today? How's your middle back, upper back? How's the lower back, the hips? The whole body. Make your last round nice and easy. And lovely stretch in the morning. And then bring your back parallel to the floor in neutral position. Yeah, I'm going to do little movements for the joints. So if your knees is very sensitive, this is where you need to place your blanket, fold your blanket under your knees. Okay, be, be comfortable because we're going to stay maybe on one knee at a time for this stretch. So this is what we're going to do. We do arms first. We're going to bring one hand to the shoulder and do big, big circles with the elbow. Draw big, big circles. Let's do about five rounds, one direction, and then change. Inhale, look up at your elbow, big, big circle. Bring it down, and again, inhale, lift, 
Exhale down. Give big, big circles. Okay, and please do listen to your body. Remind yourself that you don't have to do everything. Change direction. Big, big circles with that tailbone. You start to warm up the joints, shoulder joints. And you can look at your elbow, look up. Very good. And then bring your hand down, change your side. Hand to the shoulder, big, big circles. And if you can, look at your elbow and just follow your elbow with your eyes. Opening the chest as you're lifting. Five rounds, one direction and then change. Five rounds, another direction. Okay, I'm going to change now. So do it with your own breath. Lovely to warm up all the joints for the rest of the day. Very good. So when you finish with your arms, just take a moment, come back on your fours, engage your tummy muscles, squeeze in. We're going to do all the same with the legs now. So knee to the chest yeah, and start to move. This is where for the other knee, you might need a padding. Okay, start to move, big, big circles, build the knee. As big as you can. Listening obviously to your lower back, to the hips. Big, big circles. Make sure you have your other knee comfortable. That's great. Then change direction. Five rounds, another direction. And I keep my toes active. So please do, this, do the same. Keep your toes active. Just stretch your toes. So you have a lot of energy on that leg. And when you finish, just take a moment again, no rush. Take a deep breath and change your leg, another leg, knee to your chest, and start to move. Five rounds, one direction, and then change. Got core muscles, engage, just try to engage your core muscles, that will help you to move safely. Support in the lower back. Change direction. Five rounds, another direction. Well done. So when you finish all the repetitions, we're just going to sit back on the heels, flatten your feet. Take your knees wide, the child pose, sit back as far as you can. Okay, push the hips back, relax your hands, your elbows on the floor. If you need support for your head, bring your hands beneath your forehead. It's quite nice to have your hand beneath your forehead. Nice and gentle stretch. Or maybe the fist, if you feel it's too far to the floor, make a fist. And then rest your forehead on top of the fist. Relax. Soften. Take another deep breath. And then come up. Come up. Bring your hands in front of your knees. Knees together. Then lean forward to your hands. Turn your toes under. Now we're going to come up. Use your tummy muscles and also press into the floor with your hands and come up standing. On your feet, come up standing. Okay, come to the front of your mat. We do salutation to the sun. Okay, salutation to the sun. Let's do the first round nice and easy. And if you need to bring one knee down on the floor or two knees down on the floor, that's fine. Okay, take your hands to your heart. Space between your feet, hips width apart. Inhale, lift your sternum. Exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, very gentle back bend, or oh, just stretch upwards. And as you exhale, bend your knees and just go easily into your forward bend. And we're going to do five deep breaths. Inhale on your finger pads and stretch forward. Either holding the floor or hold your shins, lengthen forward. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow. 
and we do it again. Inhale and stretch, lengthen forward. Exhale, squeeze the legs and one. And again, inhale and stretch. Nice and easy. Exhale, bow a little deeper. Twice more. Again, stretch forward. It's okay to have your knees bent. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow. Once more, inhale. Exhale, bow a little deeper. Now move your hands by the side of your heels and step back with your right. Right foot back, high leg lunge or knee down. If you want just to take it easy, knee down or for the first round. If you want just to do gentle option, knee down, squeeze the legs, lift your chest, deep breath. And as you exhale, step back into the plank or half plank. Half plank perhaps for the first round. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, back muscles lifted. Look straight, inhale. And as you exhale, lean forward, bend your elbows and lie down on your tummy. Point your toes back. Let's exaggerate with the shoulders. Lift your shoulders, squeeze, squeeze your elbows. Like you want to hug your chest with your elbows. Draw them in. Lengthen the knee open and come up just halfway for the first round. Soften your buttocks, soften, soften, soften. Shoulders down, do the double team, look straight, inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back, stretch and lengthen forward. Keep your shoulders lifted. Can you squeeze your shoulders and your elbows again? Turn your toes under, push back to down facing dog or come on your all fours. And then down facing dog, lift your sitting bones high. And then push your thigh bones back, heels down. I want you to squeeze your arms, hands, arms and your shoulders towards each other. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You have strong shoulders. Keep engaging shoulders towards the midline. Well done. And then inhale, come up on your tiptoes, look between your hands, the right leg up, step forward, or maybe take it easy with your knees down, then right foot forward, helping with your hand. You want to see right knee above your right ankle. Squeeze the legs, lift your chest, deep breath in. And as you exhale, tummy muscles lift and step forward, forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips width apart or wider. Bend your knees, just listen to your body if you need. Bend your knees forward a lot. Squeeze the legs, press down with your feet and come up. Inhale, lift, salute to the sun. Exhale, hands to your heart with the left side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs. Bend your knees if you need. Inhale and your finger pads and stretch forward, lengthen. Exhale and bow. Move your hands by the side of your heels, step back with your left. Left foot bend, high leg lunge, deep breath. If you feel you need to take it easy, again, knee down if you need. Deep breathing. Inhale. And as you exhale, stepping back into the plank or half plank, take a moment. Let's look at the hands, spread your fingers wide. Squeeze your shoulders a little deeper into the upper back. Tailbone moving towards your heels. Inhale. And as you exhale, knees, elbows, holding forward, then bend your elbows. Lie down, point your toes back, and let's check the shoulders again. Lift it, squeeze your shoulders, lengthen the tailbone, and come up to raise cobra. Soften your buttocks. Soften, soften, soften. Shoulders down. Do the double chin. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch forward, stretch, 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 stretch. Toes under, push back to down facing dog, or come on your all fours, and then down facing dog. Look at your hands, spread your fingers wide. Imagine your hands like a tiger pose, claw the floor with your finger pads and extend your thigh bones back. And again, check your shoulders, squeeze your arms. Squeeze your shoulders towards each other. On your next inhale, come up on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, left leg up, step forward, big step forward. Help with your hand if you need. Deep breath into your chest. Exhale, tummy muscles engaged. Step into your forward bend. Make space between your feet. Hips width apart or wider. Squeeze the legs. Bend your knees if you need. Press down with your feet and come up. Inhale. Salute to the sun. Exhale. Hands to your heart. We do another round. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale and stretch, exhale, forward again, strong legs, squeeze, 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 touch the floor, inhale, lengthen forward, exhale and bow, hands by the side of your heels, right foot back, high leg lunge, take a deep breath, let's go to warrior one pose, look at your right foot and you're going to hop to the right edge of your mat, just a little bit more, we want to see space between your feet, hips width apart. Place your foot flat and come up with your hands on your front knee. Now we're going to take that left hand on the left hip and we're going to encourage that left hip just to move a little bit more back. So you want to feel that your hips squared to the front of your mat. So the hips facing forward and then lengthen the tailbone. Engage your tummy muscles and come up. Inhale, lift your arms. Deep stretch, lengthen away from the hips, squeeze the legs towards the midline. And again, let's just check the hips. Hips facing forward. Tummy muscles engaged. And if it's very easy, back heel all the floor. That helps you actually to square the hips a little bit more as the right hip now easily moving forward. Deep breath. Lift your chest, take your arms back, maybe curl back into your gentle back bend, but don't worry, you don't have to go back, just stay straight, look straight ahead, or taking back of the waistline, back, shoulders, arms, thumbs. Deep breathing, inhale, and as you exhale, squeeze the legs, stretch forward, stretch, 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 again, think about this hip, left hip moving forward, as you're stretching, sorry, that hip moving back, as you're stretching forward. Okay, and then take your hands down and step back to the down facing dog. Have a good stretch. Lengthen through the whole back of the body. Press all finger pads into the floor. Press, press, press. On your next inhale, lift high on your tiptoes. Look between your hands. We're going to change legs, right leg up and step forward, big step forward. Again, help with your hand if you need. You want to see your front knee above your front ankle. Squeeze the legs. Look at your left. Hop to the left edge of your mat. Place your foot flat. Squeeze the legs. Come up with your hands on your front knee. Take your right hand now on your right hip and encourage your right hip to move back. Again, we want your hips squared. We want hips facing forward. Lengthen the tailbone. Tummy muscles engaged. Inhale. Come up and stretch. Okay, just thinking about the hips, are uh, they facing forward? Maybe again, take hands and just check, okay, my hips facing forward. Okay, maybe lift your back heel off the floor, if that's okay with your balance. That's easier to move your back hip forward, just a little more. Engage your core muscles, maybe moving into the back bend, maybe not. Don't worry. Breathing deeply into your chest. Lots of going on already here, strong legs, Open heart, strong, brave warrior. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, squeeze the legs, look straight ahead, straight forward, moving the hips back and back and back. Touch the floor, step back to down facing dog and take a deep breath. And if you want to sport walk, feel free sport walk, move the hips from side to side. That's good to do this little movements after strong postures. How's your shoulders doing? Can you squeeze your arms? Squeeze your shoulders. And your armpits slightly lifted. Thinking about plank now or half plank, choose your option, plank or half plank. Breathe deeply. I know it's strong posture, breathing. We need lots of oxygen to work in muscles. Squeeze, squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders. Tailbone moving towards your heels. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, knees and elbows, all in forward, bend your elbows, lie down, point your toes back, and slow come up to raise cobra. Can you squeeze your shoulders and your elbows in? Lengthen the tailbone, come up, shoulders down. With a double chin, maybe lift your chin a little. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch and lengthen, stretch and lengthen. Shoulders still lifted, toes under, down facing dog. Deep breath. Pressing all finger pads into the floor. Engaging the arms to protect your shoulders. 
tummy muscles. Use, use your tummy muscles to move your thigh bones back, core muscles, extending, moving the hips away from the rib cage. And then come up on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk. Towards your hands, walk. Forward bend, make space between your feet, hips width apart, go wider, squeeze the legs, bend your knees if you need, press down with your feet and come up. Inhale, lift. Side to the sun. Exhale, hands to your heart. Deep breath in. Exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, gentle back bend. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs, bend your knees if you need. Inhale, half forward bend. Exhale, full forward bend. Hands by the side of your heels. Left foot back now. Take a deep breath. Warrior two poised. For warrior two, it's a different alignment for your feet. You're going to look at your left foot and hop with your left foot to the right behind your right foot. And place your foot flat, parallel to the back of your mat. Squeeze the legs and come up standing. Do the super strong legs. Squeeze the squeeze, engage your tummy muscles. Lift and look over your right. Open your shoulders. Check your breathing. Deep, comfortable breath. And let's look at the front knee. Knee above your ankle. And not overextended. If it's overextended like that. So just take your back foot back and a little bit more, a little bit more. Maybe sit lower. Listen to your back. And I want you to squeeze the hips. Squeeze the legs and draw the legs towards the midline. Your core muscles engaged. What you do here with your core muscles, I want you to squeeze your pelvic floor muscles and lift. Tummy muscles, squeeze and lift. So all the energy rising up and then you stretch. Well done, breathing deeply. Very strong core muscles. Lifting all the energy upwards from the crown, from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Inhale. And as we exhale, keep your core muscles strong. Stretch to the side. Elbow to your knee. Left arm over the head. Maybe even look up. Taking that top shoulder back. Open your chest. Because your core muscles still strong. Maybe touch the floor with your right hand, if that's okay, but don't worry, you don't have to do everything. And if you do this movement with the hand behind your foot, I want you to squeeze your arm and your leg together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Then press your back foot into the floor stronger and you have super stretch. Deep breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down. Touch the floor, step back to down facing dog. Or if you need to come up standing and then down facing dog, also good. So just please do listen to your body, push the hips high, extend your thigh bones back, heels down. And you might notice that one side of the body feels a little bit different. I wonder which one. So we did stretch to the right side. So you might feel a little bit more space on your right hand side, around the right hip, around your right leg. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, left leg up and step forward, big step forward. Again, help with your hand. Look at your back foot and hook behind your left. Squeeze the legs and come up standing again, super strong core muscles, lift and come up standing, looking over the left now. And then looking at your knee. How's that knee doing? Okay, stay in the back of your ankle. Need more space? Take your back foot back and sit lower, if that's appropriate. Super strong core muscles again. Engage your core muscles, starting from the pelvic floor muscles and lift all the energy upwards to the crown of the head. And then stretch, breathe. The breath is here to support you in your practice. Inhale. And as you exhale, stretch forward, elbow on your left knee, right arm over the head. Let's have a good stretch here. That hip, back hip moving back. And if you can touch the floor with ease, touch the floor and then stretch. 
and I want you to squeeze that left arm and your left leg together if you do this option. And stretch and stretch. Lengthen the tailbone and stretch you away from the hips. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down. Can you touch the floor? Step back to down facing dog or come up standing and then step back to down facing dog if you need. You have a good stretch there. Press all finger parts again into the floor. Claw the floor with your finger parts and extend. How's your tummy muscles doing? How's your pelvic floor muscles doing? Squeeze in and stretch. Hey, yeah, you can hear my cuckoo clock. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands. Thinking about plank or half plank. Squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, look straight. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, knees to elbows, or bend your elbows, lay down, point your toes back, and come up to wrist cobra slower. No rush. Lengthen the tailbone. Check that your hips touching the floor, soften your buttocks. Shoulders down, double chin, double chin, double chin. Double chin. Lift your chin a little. You inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch and lengthen forward. Shoulders still lifted. Toes under, down facing dog. Deep breath. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, bend your knees and walk in. Walk towards your hands into your forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips width apart. Squeeze the legs. Press down with your feet and come up standing. Strong legs. Squeeze, squeeze your legs. Lift. Exhale. Hands to your heart. Take a deep breath. And then relax your arms. Well done. Relax your shoulders. Have a little drink. I need a drink. Keep hydrating. Keep drinking through the practice if you need. And watching for a moment. So this is your triangular pose. We stretch a little bit more to the side. And for triangular pose, you might need block or the brick. So I have yoga block. I have yoga brick. So yoga brick is a little bit more steadier and gives you more space if you have very tight hamstrings. So watching for a moment how to use the block in triangular pose. So this is demonstration. I'm going to step back with one foot. And they're going to check feet, feet, the alignment of the feet or the stance, like in warrior two pose, where your front heel in line with the middle of your back instead. And the block, tight hamstrings, bring the block just here. You're going to rest your hand there. When you start, it is a great stretch for the hips, also realigning the hips. You're going to check the hips, okay, level. You're going to squeeze, draw the legs into the hip joints, lengthen. Going to keep that length and then fold forward with that hand with you. We're going to push the hip back and back. In fact, you're pushing both hips back to keep that length through the both sides of the body. And if you can easily touch the floor, touch the floor beneath your shoulder, or maybe this is where you need the brick or the block beneath your shoulder to hold. If you feel very tight on the back of the legs, shoulders back. And then lift your arm, look to the side, or maybe even look up at your thumb. More advanced options. If this is, you know this posture very well, you know that you're quite flexible, you can touch the floor with ease. Maybe you can take your hand behind your foot, behind your leg, and you can check your hand in line with your shoulder. Keeps moving back, still opening the shoulders. And this is a little twist here for advanced options. When you finish in any option, Look down if you with the block, just move the block to the side, bend your knee, step back and have a good stretch in down facing dog. And then we're walking, come up and change inside. So let's do it together. So block, break if you have, don't worry if you don't, just bend your front knee. Okay, and then step back with your right, right foot back, right foot back, big step. And now let's check the feet. Your front heel, your left heel. Okay. My left heel. In line with the middle of your back and step. Okay, we're going to check the hips. Turn the hips. 
and make them parallel to the long side of your mat. Draw the legs in, into the hip joints. Squeeze the hips, strong tummy muscles. Keep that strength. Look at your front leg and you're going to fold and fold and fold. With your hands, can you move the hips back a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Look down, can you touch the floor with your left hand? Maybe not. Don't worry, if, if it's not happening, don't worry. Bend your front knee, maybe grab the block if you have block beneath your hand. Okay, hips still moving back. Lift your chest, look to the side. Or maybe stretch your arm and look up at your right thumb. Take your shoulders back, deep breathing. So the hips still moving back. Well done, press your heels into the floor. Okay, well done, well done. Engage your tummy muscles a little stronger. Very strong core muscles, deep breathing. More than one option, see if this is easy. Take your hand at the back of the leg. Okay, and enjoy the stretch, whatever you do. Great stretch for the hips, for your hamstrings, for your inner hamstrings. This is a lovely, lovely stretch. Realigning the hips, keeping your core muscles, supporting the lower back. Very strong. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down, bend your front knee, touch the floor, and step back to down facing dog. Take a deep breath in down facing dog. Squeeze your shoulders and your arms and your hands towards the midline. Enjoy the stretch. If you want to sport walk, this is lovely. Sport walk, move the head from one side to another side, loosen up. And then gently walk in towards your hands, bend your knees, walk in okay, towards your hands. Keep your knees bent as you come up, hands to the hips, elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, come up. Strong legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Very good. Let's change the side. We're going to step back with the left, left to the back. Big step back. Okay. Front heel in line with the middle of your back and step. Hips, let's check the hips. Hips parallel to the long side of your mat. Draw the legs into the hips. Hips towards the middle of the pelvis. Lots of steadiness on the legs. Draw towards the midline. Engaging that core muscles and then folding forward. Okay. Hand on the floor or on the block. Whatever you need. Or maybe you just need to bend your front knee and that's also good. Push the hips back a little more. Extend through the both sides of the body, keep the length, open your shoulders, look to the sides, maybe stretch your arm and look up at your thumb. Remember, you don't have to do everything. Cut the legs, squeeze the legs into the hips. How's your core muscles? Keep it strong. We need strong core muscles to support the back, to support the hips. Maybe take your hand behind, if that's okay. Don't worry to do everything. Just do what, is, what feels right. You can stop in any transition. You can stop and practice easier option if you need. Deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, look down. Again, core muscles very strong. Bend your front knee, touch the floor, and step back to down facing dog. Deep breath in down facing dog. Pressing all finger pads into the floor, claw the floor. Squeeze your shoulders and extend your thigh bones back. And again, if you want to sport walk, it's quite nice. Moving the hips from side to side. This is lovely. To loosen up the hips and the back. And then you're going to sit into the child pose. So bend your knees, knees down and wide. Take your knees wide. Big toes touching and sit back as far as you can on your heels. Forehead is on the floor or on your hands, or use your fists and rest your forehead. Relax. Pushing the hips back to the heels. Nice and passive stretch for the back. Deep breath. Take another deep breath. Slow down. On your next inhale, lift your head. 
and then slide your hands to your knees. You swing your legs in front, please. Your legs in front. Let's do seated forward bend. And for this forward bend, we need a blanket or a block to sit on. Well, I'll, I have my yoga block here. I'm going to sit on it. So please do choose something to sit on. What we check here first, the lower back. We take your feet, hips width apart. Then take one hand to the lower back and check. Okay, you want your back to be upright. Okay, maybe you need to sit on extra support. So grab extra support, maybe just cushion from the sofa or extra blanket to sit on. So the back is straight. Back is straight or maybe even curvy. So I know when I sit on my block, so I, my pelvis start to tip forward. And this is a good thing. So I, I can sit on the floor, but on the block is even better. I can feel that little tip of the pelvis where you can lengthen and keeping your back very comfortable. So keeping that back very comfortable, look at your heels and press your heels into the floor, spread your toes, very active toes. Take your hands by the side. With your finger pads, press into the floor and stretch. And then lift your arms upwards. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Keep that length, keep that length and try to fold forward from the hips. So this is where the block or, the seat, or if you have blanket, helps you to tip the pelvis a little bit more forward. Can you reach to your toes? If you can't hold your toes, hold the floor behind or just by the side. You press again with your finger pads and keep lengthening, lengthening, lengthening. So easier option, just holding the floor by the side or behind you. So a little bit more advanced variation. If, it's, if your back is comfortable, you can keep that length. Maybe you're holding your feet. Yeah, let's use the arms in any option. Use your arms to stretch and lengthen through the sides. So keep stretching the sides of the body, softening between the shoulder blades and folding. It doesn't matter how far you fold in your forward bend. This is the most difficult posture in yoga. Can you believe it? So this is very strong posture. You know, you feel it at the back of the legs. If you feel it too much in your lower back, please do come up and just hold the floor behind you. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, fold it. Okay. Not the headstand, but the forward bend, the most difficult posture in yoga. So because lots involved, you need to keep awareness how you feel with your back, with your spine. Keep your back upright. Keep the pelvis forward. And it doesn't matter how far you go. It took me a few months just to get that tip of the pelvis, just to get to understand where the forward bend comes from. So don't worry, just take it easy. Press your heels down into the floor. Keep lengthening, lengthening. Back is comfortable. Okay. Legs are very strong. Press your heels down. Okay. Even if you, when you're holding your feet, it's all the same. Lengthening and stretching and softening between the shoulder blades. Strong legs. Relax your neck. Soften and soften. Well done. Now we're going to come back. Let's stretch up, inhale, stretch, stretch, lengthen, 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 and then exhale and relax your arms. Okay, what I suggest, sit on the floor, move that block to the side, sit on the floor, lean back, tip the pelvis forward and shake your legs. Shake, 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 relax, relax, relax your legs. Okay, very good, and then lie down on your back with the knees to your chest, knees to your chest. Okay, hold the knees and just gently rock from side to side. Okay, and then with each hand on top of your knees, do this rolling movement, clockwise direction, anti-clockwise direction. So let's do five rounds, one direction, and then change. Keep your toes active again, toes active, lots of energy on the legs. And you can feel that you need to engage your core muscles when you're moving the legs. Just bring more awareness to your strong core muscles, moving your legs, rocking and rolling. Hands very easy, very light on, the, on your knees. Okay. 
Well done. And then roll over to your right hand side. Come up to the sitting. Sit comfortably and watch me for the next one. So this is your side stretch. The side stretch. We're going to take one foot in. If that's okay with your knee, don't worry. You don't have to do that with your knee. You can keep your legs straight. And also, if you know, you know, if you have tight hamstrings, we did stretch your, the hamstrings, but you feel, if still feel a little tight, the block is very useful here. You're going to do this. You're looking at your bench knee first. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, you're going to slide your hand or slide the block towards your front heel, front foot rather, and if you're very flexible, you're there, and you can hook your big toe with your thumb, palm facing upwards, so the shoulder is open. So maybe you can do that, and then stretch your other arm upwards. And maybe this is your option, or you can, if you can hold that elbow on the inside of the leg, and you take your arm over the head, over the head, maybe you can reach to your foot. So this is great side stretch, seated right, great side stretch, and also lovely stretch again for your hamstrings. Okay, let's do it together. So we do right leg first. Okay. Block if you need. So bend your right leg. Then point your toes, take that heel into the groin. Okay, don't worry, you can keep your right leg straight if it's not appropriate for your knee. Also, you can sit on the blanket to keep, give your hips a little lift. Look at your bent knee. Take one hand in front, one hand behind. Inhale and lengthen. Keep in that length. Engage your core muscles, put your right arm behind and walk your left towards your foot with the block or without block. Slide in, slide in, slide in that hand closer to your foot. You take your top shoulder back, maybe even lean back a little. Relax your neck, make a soft, deep breath, and maybe this is enough. Or maybe you can stretch your right arm up, open your shoulders, deep breath, breathing deeply. Maybe stop, step, stop here and breathe. Or oh, hook your thumb with your thumb to that big toe and carry on. Inhale, stretch, exhale, fold. Inhale, stretch, exhale, fold. And take your toe palm over the head, closer to your front foot. Maybe you can hold your foot, maybe not, and that's okay. Shoulders back, enjoy the stretch. Press your hips into the floor, stretch the stretch. Don't worry to do everything. Maybe you just somewhere between, and this is great openness. Open the shoulders, keep your neck soft. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back. Okay, stretch your both legs. Lean back and shake your legs. Relax, relax, relax. Keep the pelvis forward to keep your lower back happy. And we change side. Let's do the left leg. Okay, block if you need. Okay, bend your left, point your heel, point your toes and take your heel into the groin. Do you need to straighten that leg? Don't worry. Straighten if you need it. Hand in front, one hand in front, one hand behind. Lengthen. Keep that length. Tummy muscles engaged and walk your hand closer to your foot. Okay, it doesn't matter how far you go. Don't worry. Again, stop where you feel this is just enough. Maybe lean back, stretch your arm upwards, open your chest, breathe. Maybe this is just enough. Good side stretch and the hamstring stretch. If you can go further, go for it. Maybe hook your big toe with your thumb. Again, lengthen, exhale, fold above that front leg. Top arm over the head. Keep the breath. Deep and flowing. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, fold. That top shoulder is still moving back and back and back. Deep breathing. Remember, you don't have to do everything. Maybe you just want to stop somewhere between. Halfway is great. Middle way is great also. Breathe. On your next inhale. Come back, exhale, relax. Okay, lean back again. Tip the pelvis forward and shake your legs. Relax, relax, relax. Shake, shake, shake your legs. That's great. And sit again on the block or the blanket. 
You're going to release the back, the lower back and the hips in Padakanasana. Bring your feet together. You have four corners of the feet pressing against each other. Four corners, big toe joint pad, little toe joint pad, inside of the heel, outside of the heel. Squeeze. Hold your shins. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, try to fold forward from the hips. Elbows wide. And then press your elbows into your legs. Legs into your elbows. Create good resistance and keep lengthening and stretching forward. Lengthen and fold. Lengthen and fold. Keep the length. Press your legs into your elbows, elbows into your legs. Still have good resistance between the arms and your legs and keep extending, stretching forward. Lovely stretch for the lower back, for the hips. Looking at your feet, can you just look at your feet and check? Your toes active and your big toe joint parts pressing against each other. Press, press, press. Stretch, stretch, stretch forward. It doesn't matter how far you go. Deep breathing. On your next inhale, come back. Inhale, come back and stretch your legs. Give them a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, great everyone. We're going to move into the twists now. The super twist. I love twists because they're so great to relieve tightness on the back. They create lots of space between vertebra, nice for your nervous system, and also great for the digestive system. Okay. And we might need again block. Bend your right leg. Take your right foot outside of the left leg. Hug your knee and sit straight. How's your back doing? Back is straight upright. Do you need to sit on the block or on the blanket? Please do. Or maybe lean to the left. Take your left foot to the right and again sit comfortably. How's your back doing? Are you okay? How's your left knee doing? Is that okay? Or do you need to straighten your left leg to the front? Take your time, choose your option. And then inhale, the right arm up, stretch. Exhale, open into the right. Open your shoulders, finger pads behind you, closer to your sacrum. Again, inhale and stretch. Exhale, shoulder opening. Lift your chin, relax your neck, just lean back a little bit with your head. And then inhale, stretch your left arm and see if you can hook the, your elbow over the knee, if that works for you. If not, just keep hugging your knee a little bit closer to your chest and that's okay. Deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, right shoulder back and the finger pads moving around your hips just a little bit more, a little bit more into the twist. But don't worry to do everything. Inhale and stretch. Exhale, tummy muscles engaged. Moving into the deeper twist. Another deep breath. And then come back. Come back to the middle. Hug your knee. Sit straight. Take your shoulders back. Take your ears back. And relax. Relax your neck. We're going to change. Stretch your legs. Give them a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, and change direction. Okay, now your left knee. Bend your left. Take your left foot outside of your right. Hug your knee. Sit straight. Maybe this is enough. Or lean to your right. Right foot to the left. And again, check how the hips level. How's your right knee? Is that okay? For your right knee, or do you need to straighten your leg? Take your time, choose your option, and then inhale, left arm up, opening your chest, finger pass behind you, closer to your sacrum, inhale, extend, exhale, shoulder back. On your next inhale, stretch your right arm and see if you can hook your elbow over the knee, but don't worry, you just can hug your knee, bring it closer, and that's enough. Inhale, stretch, exhale, moving into the twist. Inhale and sing. Exhale your tummy muscles a little bit stronger. Support your lower back with your core muscles. Breathing deeply. I always take care of my neck and just keep reminding myself just to keep my neck soft. Lift your chin a little, neck is soft. Deep breathing. 
lengthening in and moving into the twist. On your next inhale, come back, come back to the middle, hug your knee, sit straight, shoulders back, relax your neck again, and stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. Option for your inversions, shoulder stand, half shoulder stand, or the block or blanket under the hips. Just very fast demonstration, reminding, what you can do. So block under the hips. Okay, maybe just take it easy and stretch your legs upwards. And this is a very good option. Relax. Or if you happy to go to shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, you're going to check your shoulder blades flat, chin lifted. Base of the neck is not on the floor. So when you come up to your shoulder stand, you're going to keep that space. Space between the neck and your yoga mat. We don't want to stand on the neck. And then roll up, touch the hips, half shoulder stand, the full shoulder stand, when you squeeze in the legs and you lift, 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 support the back, the parts of the back. And then when you see your feet, just move your feet forward away from the face. And you stay there. If you happy to go to power pose, touch the floor behind. Can you touch the floor? Can you touch the floor? Maybe two feet. Hold the floor with your hands or interlace your fingers. Super straight for your shoulders here. 30 seconds would be enough in the plow pose. Then come out of the pose, bend your knees, hold the floor, and slowly unroll. Vertebra by vertebra. So please do choose what is suitable for you. Okay, maybe just a block under the hips. And you lift your legs and take it easy. Nice, relaxing posture. Lifting the legs and stay there. Or go into half shoulder stand or the full shoulder stand. And they always check the neck. Neck is comfortable, chin lifted. Base of the neck not on the floor. Half shoulder stand just holding the hips. Or the full shoulder stand. You can hold the parts of your back, roll the shoulders closer to each other, move your feet away from the face and stretch up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Lots of energy on the legs, everyone. Squeeze the legs, whatever posture you're choosing, you just squeeze the legs and lift, 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 lift. Neck is comfortable. If you do the plow pose, I suggest do with one foot. Just take one foot behind and then check with another foot. Can you touch the floor with ease? Maybe you can. And then both feet on the floor. But don't worry. Don't worry to do everything. Maybe holding the floor with your hands in the floor pose. Or interlacing your fingers. Press your arms down. Breathe. Okay, checking your neck. Base of the neck is not touching the floor. That's another neck stand, that's the shoulder stand. Then come back. No rush. Breathe, breathing deeply. Supporting the back or the hips. Or enjoying on the block with the hips. Bend your knees now, hold the floor, and slowly unroll. Use your tummy muscles, unroll gently, vertebra by vertebra. Unroll, unroll, unroll. Then bring your feet on the floor. Move your head from side to side, relax your neck. Roll over to your sides. Okay, and now you, I think this is the time for relaxation. So if you would like to grab the blanket, lie down in Shavasana and, fall, and just cover yourself with the blanket. Yeah, and I'm going to sit with you and do your relaxation. So please do lie down, relax. Lie down on the floor with your feet wider than the hips. Arms away from your body. 
palms facing upwards. And then just make yourself very comfortable, warm and comfortable blankets. Relax. And then close your eyes as you lie on the floor. Bring awareness to your whole body. And again, just checking how you feel. How you feel in your whole body after your yoga practice. Notice your grounding points where your body touching the floor. And feel that steady support beneath you. Establish in your mind that it feels safe and secure, knowing that you're being supported by Mother Earth. Acknowledge that you're part of the great universe, only one little spark maybe, but nevertheless, one part of the big plan of life, important, necessary, because you're part of the whole creation within it, not outside of it. And you are not alone. The rest of life is needing you just as much as you are needing it. And this binding together, this needing, sharing, caring, makes you feel secure and protected. Enjoy your breath. Slow down. Just relax into the steady support beneath you. Slow down your breath. Slow down your thoughts. Enjoy the energy flow in your body. That sense of well-being. If you find your mind is very busy and wandering, gently and kindly, without judging, bring your mind back to your breath, back to physical sensations in your body, back to your present experience, right here, right now. When we come, and rested and fulfilled, everything else falls into the places. When they come, rested and fulfilled, everything else falls into places. Now, as your relaxation comes to the end, bring your awareness back to your surroundings, back to the room you are in, to your friends, to your family, to your pets next to you. Deepen your breath, extend your inhalations, exhalations, reawakening the energy in your body. Then slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body, Inhale and stretch. Take your arms over your head on the floor. Stretch, stretch, stretch away from the waistline. And when you feel sufficiently stretched, 
Bend your knees to your chest. Hug your knees with your hands and gently rock from side to side. Reawaken in the lower back. Bend roll over to your right hand side and come up to the seating and just sit comfortably, maybe on the block, maybe on the blanket, with your hands in Anjali Mujah in front of your heart. Inhale and lift and lengthen. Now keep that length and slightly lean back to feel the strong support of your back muscles. Support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice, reflect your intention of the practice. Notice how you feel. Enjoy extra strength, flexibility, and clarity of mind. Traditionally, we finish class with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. By your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely day.